So I wanted to pop on today and do kind of like an updated version of a video I did a while back, a really long time ago actually, about how I keep my teeth healthy and white. And this is something that a lot of people have requested me to do. I get comments about it all the time and I'm just going to share with you what I do, but I do want to kind of mention, and this is in no way bragging, but just that I have got pretty strong teeth. I haven't got any fillings or anything like that and they are naturally quite white. So it's not like, you know, I've had them whitened and I do a lot to kind of maintain them. I just kind of keep a basic mouth care routine that works for me but like I said if you do really struggle with getting your teeth white this might not be the right video for you because that's not really um, something that I consciously do so I'm gonna jump right into it if you can hear weird noises it's because I've got the windows open because it's really really hot in here and I've got the studio light right on me and I'm boiling so I'm gonna start with my toothbrush. So the toothbrush I'm using is the um, Oral-B toothbrush. This is the one with a timer. I can't remember the exact model name of this. I'll try and link it down below. But this comes with a timer. It kind of times 30 seconds per quarter of your mouth. So you kind of do top bit, second bit, bottom bit, and then the other bit. I don't um, love the timer aspect of it. That was the thing I was most excited about when I got this and I do love having an electric toothbrush because I feel like it does make your teeth feel that much cleaner than a manual toothbrush but the timer part just confuses me and I don't end up using it and in the morning when I'm in a rush I definitely don't end up using it so I don't think the timer part should sell you on it but you should brush your teeth for two minutes um, is what most dentists recommend. Then the other thing is it's got one of those little tiny heads, you can get different heads for it but I prefer when they have a slightly longer one but this I suppose is good because you can get each individual tooth which I try and do. So I brush my teeth in the morning and then I brush my teeth twice at night, I brush it the first time and listen to this, I know this sounds bizarre but this is my theory. Like double cleansing, if you cleanse once, you take your makeup off and then you cleanse again and you're cleaning your skin. I feel like that with teeth. I feel like at the end of the day, you've kind of got gunk on your teeth. The first time takes all of that off, the second time you're really cleaning your teeth. So that's what I do. So I brush my teeth three times a day. I don't do it after every meal and all that jazz. In terms of mouthwash, mouthwash, mouthwash and flossing, I floss, floss occasionally, um, but I'm not massively into mouthwash. I don't find it's very effective for me. And then in terms of toothpaste, I chop between these two. This is the Colgate Advanced White. This claims to give you whiter teeth in 14 days. I don't know about that. I do use whitening tooth toothpaste, and I do think that they do help um, brighten your teeth. And then the Oral-B Pro Expert Whitening one as well. These are two of my favorites. This one is one I haven't started using yet, but I have used it before. And then the Colgate one I have um, almost finished. So that's what I do in terms of um, products that I'm using. Then in terms of um, tips and that kind of thing. I think the main tip for me is definitely not drinking tea or coffee. Now I will drink the occasional cup of coffee but I don't find coffee to be as staining. Tea, regular like an English brew, is really 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 staining on your teeth I find and I feel like especially um, drinking tea um, just creates that kind of weird slightly dim effect on your teeth and if you look at what a tea bag does to a spoon that freaks me out. It always makes the spoon brown and it makes the mug you've used it in a little bit discoloured. And I just can't help but feel like that's what it does to your teeth. And I really, really, really feel strongly about the fact that tea stains your teeth badly. And it just kind of takes away that brightness that they have. So that is something that you kind of um, want to bear in mind if that is something you struggle with. Maybe drinking tea might help stop that. Coffee um, is supposedly staining, but I haven't found it to be as bad as tea. Then another thing is drinking kind of fizzy drinks and that kind of thing. Coke really, really stains your teeth. I don't drink regular Coke um, ever, but um, even Diet Coke's bad for your teeth. It just, they stain your teeth and anything coloured really is not great for your teeth. But definitely I think tea is the biggest kind of culprit. And I know that's a controversial thing to say being um, from Britain where everyone's obsessed with drinking tea, but I do think that it kind of makes your teeth a little bit stained. So that is something you want to bear in mind. Like I said, I am um, extremely lucky in that my teeth kind of are fairly healthy and that kind of thing, but keeping your teeth healthy is really, really important. And whatever you kind of do now, you're not gonna have to do later on in life. And I think that's really an effective um, message. So I definitely, definitely recommend brushing your teeth at least twice a day. And I know a lot of people don't like brushing their teeth at night, but it's really, really, really important. And you're you're going to bed with all that gunk on your teeth and like you wouldn't go to bed without taking your eye makeup off, you should really just make a conscious effort to not go to bed without brushing your teeth. It's really, really, really important. In terms of whitening treatments, I've never had my teeth whitened. Um, 
there are kind of various over-the-counter products that you can use. I know there was a phase on YouTube a while ago where everyone was really into the Ghost Smile um, whitening kit or the Crest whitening strips as well. I haven't tried either of those. I'm a little bit paranoid that like they'll make my teeth go <laughs> like um, in that episode of Friends where Ross has his whitened and they kind of glow in the dark. I'm a bit paranoid that that's what it'll do. And I also think that they make your teeth a little bit more sensitive. And because I haven't had any problems with my teeth, I'm very, very paranoid about getting problems. So I tend to kind of stay clear of that kind of thing and um, I haven't tried them. But I do occasionally get sent kind of whitening things to review and that type of thing and I never test them on myself. I always give them to other people to test because it's something that I'm a little bit wary of. So if you do want to go and do something like that, really, really research into it and maybe talk to your dentist first because I do feel like they can be quite harsh and strong and it can kind of affect your teeth. But those are my top tips. I feel like this was kind of a really in and uninformative pointless video to make but so many of you requested me to do it and that's how I keep my teeth kind of bright and healthy if you've got any tips or any information then don't hesitate to leave everything down below because I'm sure you'll probably be more helpful than I am on this matter and I hope you enjoyed this